I'm here right now with Zeus. Zeus is playing the exchange tonight, right? That's right. That's where we're at. That is fantastic. Now, it is... I've been talking about this a lot on the air today. It's actually by a musical instrument day. Don't know if you knew that. So that is why in front of you right now you've got some maracas from the dollar store. Uh, there's a whoopee cushion over there. You can, some random noisemakers that sound like farty noises. If you feel like using those at any point right now, do it, okay? Any point right now. Well, I mean, anyway, <laughs> within the next few minutes. Okay. Or you can... <laughs> that sounded good. Yeah. See, I don't see how that classifies as a musical instrument. No, not at all. But, okay, <laughs> tell us a little bit about you guys. You're obviously you're from Ontario originally. You were just talking about this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so your home base is kind of Toronto right now? Our home base is Toronto. We all live there other than our drummer, Robbie, who lives uh, in Barrie. But yeah, we... Uh, uh, Carlin and I, the one missing member of the band right now, um, met, like, grew up in, in high school together yeah. uh, and had our first band together. And then we, you know, we reunited uh, a couple of years ago in Toronto uh, and uh, formed this band. And, and uh, Neil's a guy that we had played with, you know, we played in a band called the Golden Dogs together. And, yeah. and so, yeah, that's sort of how it all swirled together. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, question for you then. I've been looking over your tour schedule a little bit. What are you doing to yourselves? You, in the next couple of months, it seems like you don't have a break at all, and you're traveling all over North America, basically. Tell us a little, like, how do you do this? Well, you know, this is just a ploy to get tough. <laughs> okay. Essentially, we're just trying to get tough. And, you know, forget about things like long weekends, <laughs> family picnics, all the nice <laughs> pleasant things of home. We're trying to get rid of that. So where did you head from no. before you were here? Uh, we were in Philadelphia. We were doing a, we were hanging. We were doing a, a show. And you're driving? Yes. In what are you driving in? Right oh, now? we got a nice, beautiful Ford uh, E350 van. It's got a trailer on it. It's looking good. So you drove through three days to come from Philly to here for a show at the Exchange tonight. That's right. And then where are you tomorrow? We're in Calgary tomorrow. Oh, that's intense. That is absolutely <laughs> intense. And we're driving to uh, Vancouver so we can get the ferry to Victoria for the day after that. Oh, that's that's phenomenal. Yeah, so there's you know lots of driving. This, that's you know, any musicians out there on Buy Musical Instrument Day, yeah. you know, you're thinking about doing this touring thing across <laughs> Canada. Get your license at the same time. Get your license and and rest assured that for the most part you won't have drives this intense anywhere else in the world. So yeah, you know, start start tough. The joy of Canada, hey. Yeah, joy. Everything's easy after that. Mm. Okay, do you have any crazy touring stories for us? Um, anything that you can say on nothing the radio? That we, no, nothing that we can actually share with you right now. Oh, we'll tell you afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so maybe I'll record that afterward, and if I can somehow <laughs> edit out certain parts, then we can air it or something like that. Yeah, that's for your ears only. Okay. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Well, you guys have a new album out. We do. Uh, Busting Visions. That's the one. Why? Why, why that? Why Busting that's Visions? That's mundane. But Oh, uh, the the title really just came through two different ideas that were floating around, and a combination of those two ideas. I I had seen a fortune teller called Crystal Visions, and and I like the sound of those words. And uh, Neil uh, wanted to call the album Bustin' Loose. There was a poem that uh, was in a collection that we found in our studio rehearsal space before it was our studio rehearsal space, which is this drawer collection of correspondences that we found in one of the poems and there was called Busting Loose and it had a lovely illustration of like busted jail bars on it. You know, so some of it was just like supermaning away out of jail. And the poem was called Busting Loose and I thought that was pretty bad. That's pretty deep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well how about this? We'll play the first single off that album, Are You Gonna Waste My Time? I love how it's cut off on my thing. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. We'll play that right away, and then you guys are going to come and play an acoustic thing for us. And we'll go for it. Are you going to waste my time? That is Zeus. Those guys are playing the exchange tonight. If you're looking for something to do to cheer you up just a little bit, you may want to check out that show. And you guys, a question for you. You're with Arts and Crafts. Mm -hmm. One thing I was curious about, of course, that's the same label that Broken Social Scene and Feist and Stars and them are on as well. It seems like you're a really close-knit group. I mean, Feist plays with Broken Social Scene. You guys, are you the, still the backing band for Jason Collette? Uh, we haven't had a chance to play with them in quite a while because we've been so busy, but, uh, you know, we still get to hang with him from time to time, and he's still a great friend of ours. Do you, is that something that goes with the hand-in-hand -hand with the record label, kind of? You get to be close with everybody else? It just seems you all collaborate together and that kind of thing? It just kind of happens. I mean, it's not as if, like, once we signed our record contract, it's like, all right, it's buddy up time, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just like... <laughs> 
you know, Mike had been playing this Jay and Robbie for for a good while, and it, it, if anything, it's more it's, it's more as if um, the scene just naturally kind of comes together. You get to know people, you get to meet people. Yeah. One thing leads to the next. You know, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's just the way it goes. Yeah, very cool. And you're gonna play an acoustic song for us right away here. Now, here's the deal. Um, we only have four mics in the studio. One of them, the one that I'm using right now. So I'm gonna pass off the mics to you guys. You can intro the song and that kind of thing. So go for it. Okay, great. We're going to do a song uh, off of our first record, Say Us. The song is called Kindergarten, and uh, it was penned by Neil Kevin Quinn. Hi, here I am. Yeah, there you are. And he's going to count it in and rip into it for you. Yeah. All one, two, three, four. <laughs> I think they're uh, they're from around here, and uh, and we'll be on I think around eleven o'clock. So yeah. come on down. Oh, we're yeah. on. Actually, Wake Owl's nine thirty. We're on at ten thirty. Ten thirty. There you go. Ah, there you go. Again, the exchange. That is awesome. And Busting Vision is the name of your album. If you guys want to go pick up, check out some new music. Do that. And what's your website so I can check that out? Uh, check out the Music of Zeus. 